Anybody got any questions about overseas? Anything you guys want to ask us? Because both of us obviously have traveled. And if not, feel free He's to jump in. planning to head over to, uh, what was it going to say? Um, Central Africa. Because I've been watching a few people um, online, aside from Austin Hallman, saying a couple of things about like Uganda, Ethiopia. They're starting to be up and coming business. They're starting to have, like you were saying about Dubai, just a lot of people coming mm-hmm. through, whether it's from the West, just starting to make investments there too. Um. Really, I only thought about like Asia for the Philippines and Thailand because they were developed enough. It was safe enough. Uh, It was, as far as English goes, widely spoken. So it's really easy on you when you're being like a bumbling, fumbling American tourist, you know, you kind of get your hand held there. Um, I never thought of going to Latin America, Africa or other parts of the world simply because when I landed in Europe, I was just shocked. Uh, Although Europe is very small, uh, the landscape is extremely beautiful. Like you can go having like incredible beaches, incredible mountains, incredible pine forests, incredible swamps. Like it's a little bit of everything that you'd like. It's just missing desert, honestly. And America has that on Europe. It has actual desert states, you know? So as far, I'm more of a nature guy, you know? So Africa would be incredible, but I never put it on the list because I kind of felt at home when I got here. And I was like, shit, it's going to take me years to just explore all of Europe. You know, like I have a Scandinavia trip that I want to do. I haven't even been the fjords. I haven't seen the fucking um, Aurora yet i haven't seen so much stuff you know like there's a crap load to look do see in europe you know i haven't been to spain haven't been to portugal i have there's so much man and it's because like every country is its own little tribe its own language its own culture and customs it's like going to a different part of the world essentially i mean we all kind of look alike but it's like dude if i cross the border into ukraine it's a completely different place if i cross the border into serbia it's a completely different culture and people you know it's a completely different south of bulgaria you know i can drive over to turkey you know what I mean? Like a drive to Greece. It's just, it's wild the amount of shit you can see in such a squeezed little place. Africa is absolutely amazing. I would love to do safaris, see how much has changed the cities and all that stuff. I've heard very good things about, you know, a bunch of the countries there. Nigeria, especially I had a friend that came from there and I want to go. Yeah, I want to go, but it's just like, now I have a woman. We're thinking about family, planning down roots. You know, it's like, when do you go and what do you go see? And yeah, just not a priority yet because there's so much to do in Europe, you know, but I one day I have to. Like, I can't leave this earth and not go to Africa. <laughs> yeah. <True>. Yeah. <laughs> Got to knock a few things yeah, off. Africa is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, could you imagine? I mean, just the, the size alone, man, like how big Africa is. No. Like one, one, one country alone is like, no. you know, what the largest African country is like half of Europe. You know, that's insane. <laughs> Yeah, I've lived it in America. Insane. It is. Can't damn to stay here any longer. Just I gotta, I gotta go overseas. Yeah, well, That's you'll good. love it, man. Yeah, just-, just be prepared. And when you go to places like Africa, though, just be prepared. They aren't as developed. The cities, you might not notice much difference, but I'm when you travel in between, man, is where the shock will come and hit you because you're gonna get on those rough dirt roads and you're gonna see those houses. Oh, yeah. Recommendation. Yeah, houses on stilts and shit think, like that. Like- <laughs> True. I think yeah. uh, I'm going to be second for me. I think it's more, uh, I was going to check out Philippines first, then after. Definitely. You will get acclimated in the Philippines and with travel in general, it's a very safe and welcoming country and they welcome Americans. Obviously, we basically, it's a colony of ours in the Philippines. We've got American bases everywhere and they do what we tell them and they obviously come to work here and the English is widely spoken and very well too. It's not like shitty English. They speak very good English there. You know, so you can actually get by without having issues and doing the whole hand talking shit and quick translate on Google mm. on my phone and so that will get you acclimated traveling you'll learn little things when you go on the road like that like carrying cash with you finding atms you know what i mean like uh, where the taxis are or maybe the bus stops or what to look out for like it might come across mm-hmm. as rude to an american but people are very in your face about selling you cab fares or fucking trinkets on the road or random shit that people are just always trying to sell dude they're very aggressive like get in your face like sir sir mr mr boss boss do you want this and like start walking with you and bumping yeah. into you on purpose it's kind of fucking strange. You're like, oh, get out of my personal space, motherfucker. But for them, yeah. it's normal. Yeah. Hey, we're, yeah. So, yeah. we're so used to a lot of space. Yeah, that's yeah, true. yeah. But there's no personal bubbles yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. It's, in, yeah. it's in that way in Dubai, too. Like when you go to Dubai and uh, you'll walk around the restaurants on the marina, like the Arab culture there is very much like that. Like a think like a marketplace, like a bazaar, you know, it's very yelling in your face and sir, sir, boss, come here. You want to eat? And like they'll open the menu and stick it in your face as you're walking and shit. And it's like, no, 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 thank you. They, the guy at the next restaurant just saw you decline that, but will come and do the same thing to your face again because they don't know if you're going to be a customer that will walk in or not. And they need the business. So they're not afraid 
great. They're like, they really are in this weird way, like go getters, dude. But it's to a fault to an American. It's just like, I, bro, let me breathe. This <laughs> isn't yeah. how you sell to me. Yeah. But to them, it's normal. So you'll, that mm. shit you'll see. Hey. So that will prepare you for your trips because Africa is going to be a little bit more rough around the corner in that sense. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh, and then for the yeah. passport, bro. Because so I had Austin Kepler. Hallman here. Kepler. Yeah. I've had Austin Hallman here and did interviews with him and hung out with him in Romania and a couple of other, um, uh, black Americans and UK, uh, and maybe one Australian dude. I can't remember where he was from. I'm all black though. And their experiences, some of them have been to Africa. And, um, if you are looking for love or looking to feel at least like you belong, man, there's nothing like Africa. When you come to these places, even me, I, I still feel differently in other countries when I go. But what they were describing to me was like, that felt something akin to home. Like there is a whole different experience when you're surrounded by your own. And when people don't look at you in a different way or fetishize you in a way, like as a black man, you may be going to say the Philippines and you may meet Filipinas that fetishize black men and being with them and will show you a ton of interest and you may get hooked on one and you may be very interested in her. But when it comes for a long term relationship and taking you seriously, it was never the case because she just wanted the experience. Right. So or the family may not yeah. approve and you're going to run into racial tension there. But what everybody is saying is like Africa was the one place where they didn't feel they were getting fetishized and where love was really deep and true. So if you're looking for a really good woman, something more traditional, obviously you're going to have a much easier time there, much more accepting for obvious reasons. You know what I mean? But let's not beat around the bush and pretend like shit like this doesn't you know exist. Like for me, it's the same thing. I come here to the Balkans in Romania and I get treated way differently than if I was in you know, a different skin color. Same if I were to go to Asia. Obviously, some of them have a preference for white guys, but there's a ton of beautiful women that will say I'm not dating outside my race or fetishize me as the white guy as like having money or whatever the fuck else, you know, like uh, marrying yes. up. Yeah. yeah. And then it is what it is, man. Yeah. So if you are going for. Some even yeah. Yeah. So if you're going with the intention of finding love or something long term lasting and maybe setting roots down or bringing a woman back, not advisable, but maybe you do like it over there where you visited and it is developed enough and you can see yourself raising a family there. Like obviously Africa is probably one of the crown jewels. I would keep in that as a priority for yourself. Like go get some experience in Asia. You never know. You can meet you an Asian woman that really loves you, you know, but always yeah. just just have your heart, you know, turn to the side a little bit and know like, am I being targeted as a fetish because it's just the reality of the world yeah if i go to africa i'll be fetishized you know what i mean like of all the people look at me like who the fuck is this white guy and like all of a sudden oh, yo, gets, go. yeah get yeah. stereo get stereotyped and get um get targeted by women that may be looking to get out or maybe thinking i have a ton of money or you know what i mean just they look at you it's just human True. nature dude yeah so be aware same thing in latin america you can actually uh, they said that too in latin america there's a lot of uh people mixed of course with african ancestry and for those you could typically find the same thing but if you run into those lighter skinned upper class chicks obviously they're going to be looking for more of their type that they consider it's just the racial realities that we're dealing with in the world today but i always have to mm -hmm. prep I, I have to say that because i don't want to send some guy overseas and he's going to think like no 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 every chick will love me for me you know and it's like oh by the way you're being fetishized because with the black guys that are very successful here in eastern europe um they have a blast some of them catch feelings and then they find out the women would never date them seriously it's like you were the guy fun yeah. for the night yeah because you're sexually fetishized like the stereotype and they just wanted to have a mm -hmm. black guy for the night kind of shit and it's real and it's, it's, it's how a lot of dudes are getting laid, you know, same way white guys are getting laid all over Asia. You know what I mean? So that stereotype may work for you in something like the short term, but it'll work against you when it's time to integrate and be part of their family. You know, so just keep yeah. that, keep that open, dude, because some people do it successfully, but you're going uphill against, you know, a lot of factors. A lot of factors. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of racism around. I'm not going to beat around the bush, especially in Eastern Europe. They're very nationalistic here. I mean, the Balkans had the, the wars where Serbia was trying to eat up most of the former Yugoslavia. People are super nationalistic. You'll see flags being flown all over each country. They hate each other, bro. You don't think they'll hate you as an outsider? I mean, literally, these are the same exact people, the same exact language, and they will kill each other over nationalism and histories in the past. You know, like Europe's been at war with itself for, well, I mean, we have history class. So if people feel so strongly here, where they're basically the same, what do you think they'll do to you as an outsider? I mean, that's why I say it's 
it's hard to blend in unless you already have some roots or if you at least look like them, you know, and that's the reality. I've seen guys successfully pull here for long term and integrate in society. But again, like, for example, there's a mixed couple here in Romania where there's this black dude that sings Romanian folk songs and it's fucking heat, dude. He is fire. He speaks better Romanian than most Romanians and his fucking pronunciation and his singing voice. Amazing. And dude has a Romanian wife and a kid and like a few comments will say like amazing, amazing voice. He's doing Romania proud like that's a real Romanian then it's straight racist shit after that straight up hate dude and that's just and I could only imagine the shit he might get in public you know like the sneers the comments you know so that's why I say it's like it's not ideal you can find your love if you meet the love of your life here and you want to endure shit like that but golly know what you're getting into well let me give you an example of how hostile it could be just in the Balkans amongst themselves my girlfriend was explaining this to me if you have a Croatian license plate from the capital Zagreb and you drive your car or vice versa into Serbia into Belgrade your car will be fucked up if it's even still around it's almost a guarantee if they see the license plate is from out of town especially from those countries they will jack your wheels they will bust your windows out they'll fucking steal your car right away you got to remember less like maybe 30 years ago they were in war and committing genocide and like fucking each other up to that point where NATO had to step in and bomb Serbia and intervene and like dude imagine your grandfather, not even grandfather, your brother or your father is either dead or scarred by the war still. Like you don't think these people harbor hate still. It's real. You lived through it. You know, anybody older than 30 has lived through some of that shit and has active family members right now, dude, that are just ready to kill one another. Now imagine that. And you're a foreigner. They might like you. It makes it easier if you learn their language and try to assimilate and respect their culture. But at, but just know like they'll never accept you as one of their own, no matter how hard you try, because they hardly accept each other, dude. And it's sad. Yeah. Asia's a bit more lax with that shit. They're a bit more like passive and chill. Europe's just ultra fucking violent. And it's always been aggressive and it's always been war first and ask questions later, fucking conquering territory. There's empires up, left, right, wherever you looked, you know? The rest of the world was a bit more peaceful in that sense. And uh, I guess it's left a mark on the people because... You know, the welcoming nature of the Filipinos, you're not going to find that in Europe. And that's just being honest. They've had a relatively peaceful existence, you know, and they live in a very nice place in the part of the world where it's nice and sunny with palm trees and beautiful beaches. Like, yeah, I live next to a country that's currently in war against a former empire that we're talking today in Europe. There is war. That's how crazy it is. Think about it, man. That's fucking maddening. That's insane. (laughs) Yeah, that's Europe in a nutshell. Uh, just warning everybody again beautiful very nice you know i guess well-mannered people but uh yeah history doesn't bode well and i say that i say that sadly (laughs) yeah i know i mean you make a really good point it really depends even within regions like for example and uh you mentioned the philippines i think they're very accepting and uh and very open to you know us whether we're you know black or white going in there and being part of their society whereas in japan that's a country where you're never are going to be accepted period, as yeah. the Japanese period. So I think that really depending on the region, it's probably the same in Africa and it, clearly in, in uh, Europe as well, as, as you, you mentioned there in the Balkans, but you really have, as you explore the world, you can really look at the countries, even within the same regions, whereas one country may be adjacent to each other, but one's going to be very accepting and open to foreigners and one is not. And then, of course, there's the more subtleties of some of them are going to be a lot more open to uh, wider people. Than, than darker people. Although I will say, uh, somebody has traveled to Thailand a lot in the past. Um, I remember being there 20 years ago, whereas you know, black people, they just did not get much love at all. There's, but now I think 20 years later, as you know, culture, American culture and the music and the and you know the movie stars and whatever, there's definitely been a shift in Thailand. And you know, the Thais I know are much more open to dating black guys. In fact, you know, a lot of times prefer them. So um, so that and it's probably similar in the Philippines. Uh, I don't know. Um, but probably worldwide, it's probably easier for the for the uh, my my black brothers to get uh, you know some really good relationships and, and good play in Southeast Asia. And I would say in South America and in Latin America, it really depends. Obviously, Dominican Republic, you know, plenty of uh, you know darker people there. In some places in Colombia, you know, a lot in Cali, there's a lot of you know Afro. 
Pro-Colombians there. Although if you go to Argentina, that's a lot more European influence. A lot of Italians and the Germans went there. So, so I've heard reports that they're a lot more, you know, you, you know, a little bit more racist than, and yeah. so the, the black guys aren't going to get is, is, is good results just because that's kind of part of their culture. But yeah. then you'll do great in the DR and you'll do great in Colombia and Brazil, obviously. So it really depends. You got to do your research. Yeah. Mm-hmm.